we just finished uh, wiping this down pretty good. So this is basically what we had after we pulled the coil out, except it was really nasty and dirty. Right now, uh, Sam is in there working on building the enclosure for the coil and uh, measuring stuff out. But uh, we're coming up with uh, a way to seal it as well as we can and slide it in in one shot. <laughs> Which should be kind of entertaining. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick shot of uh, the enclosed area here. I've filled in, sorry I don't have the light on, I've filled in the corners where we had foam gaps where they just laid down a couple pieces and it was sucking air underneath the coil down into the unit. So this time when we go back we'll have all of the uh, base sealed up and we're doing a test set up here and we're going to fit it as tight as we can and then seal it to the bottom here in a minute and try without the, the front on and try and lift the whole thing in in one shot and uh, have so it sealed up. The coil box started. It did not start like we had planned. There was no way to easily get in there without disassembling the front face and so we're just kind of doing it on the fly. But anyway, we've got the, the base sealed up, the rubber mat filled, filled in all the way across where they had not done so before. It was getting air sucked in. Uh, the coil's clean. We've made new cap plates for the ends down here. And uh, we're fixing to place it. I'm going to seal the bottom of the, the board against the, the unit in there and put a tight seal on that. And then we'll place the coil and hopefully it will fit squarely without having to fight it and we'll place around the pipes. Uh, for the side, I'm going to go outside and get some more of our um, office project scraps. I have a bunch of cement board, so I'm going to lay some cement board along the side over here and then when we uh, start welding that stuff up, it won't uh, melt uh, the board uh, or catch any of the other lovely dust bits in there on fire that I haven't uh, vacuumed out. <laughs> so anyway, that's where we're at. I'm going to knock that out here in a second. Okay, he is now installing the seals around the box. I'm going to foil tape in and I'm going to squeegee in it down as we go. He's doing the meaningless work so I don't have to do it. There you go. <laughs> Bend the tape up a little bit. And the angle kind of helps when you put it in there. You don't have to fight it as much. Now, I know some of you guys are shaking your head and shitting your pants about the way I'm doing this, but as I have told you before, I am not an installer. I have never claimed to be an installer. I suck at installing because I don't install. I just fix shit. So, uh, I don't even go and hang out with the guys when they install. So. This is just, you know, me winging it in my own place, so. So, cut me some slack. Uh, I know you won't, but you can pretend like you want to. <laughs> and when I get done, you're not going to see any mastic either, because, you know, I live out in the sticks, and I really don't care about mastic. But, uh, that's all right. I'm assuming in a couple of years we'll be replacing this unit anyway. So this will do just fine until then. Looking pretty good. And this is called taping with Mikey. <laughs> That's 
why I don't frame either. I can't draw a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I did most of the framing. That's right. All right, I have the front door section uh, started in. Just finished putting uh, tape down the one side and laying some in right here. And I'm going to seal the bottom section there, uh, the side here, I should say, and then the bottom section down here. And then we'll start uh, building the filter uh, sub base uh, ledge after I finish that, pull the filters out. I have the complete front taped in and sealed up and ready to do the, the ledge to put the filter on, uh, the sub base, whatever you want to call it. And I have all of those pieces already cut and measured out. And I've taped off the, uh, the open side so I don't have any hanging out. And I'm going to get a few small pieces, possibly, we'll see how it sits. Um, small pieces, uh, maybe small snips, that uh, to give me some vertical support underneath, but it may not be necessary. I get the metal tape on it, and it might be plenty strong enough, and I'm guessing it probably will be, to hold the filter up, which will not weigh a whole bunch. I've got the first piece laid in the back, as you can see, and just a couple pieces of tape holding in, but I'm going to use a small piece of foam, which happens to be the exact same size as the width of the filter, and I'm using it to give me a level measure of the top boards uh, so I can properly space it down. And we're going to do that all the way around the front and the sides and then seal everything in. I have the front one laid in here and the back one's in and I'm just now laying the side one. Pardon my shaking hands. You can see I have it pretty much uh, leveled up all the way across. And I'm going to seal that one in and then we'll finish the other side. <laughs> Laying in the tape now, and I'm using a, uh, I guess you call it a spatula, but they use this for tape, and it's also used for mastic, but uh, you use it on here like a squeegee, and it puts a really good seal down on the tape. Uh, if you just put the tape on by hand, and you don't squish it down really good, it uh, will peel up on you when you get heat or cold blowing on it, so... Always good to squeegee it down really nice and tight. We get all the air uh, leaks that could possibly get behind it sealed out here, and then we'll do the rest. It's all laid in and taped in. The front is finished up. The top is taped in and sealed all the way around. I have a few little maybe touch up spots here, a few little cracks, but for the most part, it's all sealed in nice and well. And we have a nice lip to put the, the new filter on top. So all we have to do now is come up with some new return here because now that I've blocked off this whole section it was sucking in before it's gonna be a little difficult uh, and still has gaps and whatnot so I'm going to uh, put a return uh, grill up here in the top section. I have a new grill purchased and taken out and it's the largest one they had and it turns out is absolutely perfect absolutely perfect for the width now I just need to measure off the sections where I'm going to cut it at and take out the first section of sheetrock up here. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Golly, I couldn't ask for better. Right, the 2x4 line all the way down here, and the two sides and the top. So, all I really have to do is mark the top. That's the only cut line I have to follow, and the rest I just follow the border. It's going to be great. Excellent. Ah. Ah. 
<laughs> I'm sweating and it's 73 in the house. Ah, right, let's have a closer look at it then. I have a lot of vacuuming to do, obviously, but uh, not bad. Maybe some touch up, but for the most part, it's it's pretty clean, top and bottom. And uh, oh golly, there's a thermostat wire going up through the ceiling and out. So beautiful. Let's back it up a little bit. That looks really nice. And let's grab the cover here and do a little test fit. One handed. Oh, whoop. Sorry. Beautiful. Okay. I may dress up that in there, or I may not. If I feel like dressing it with some sheetrock and the paint and the edges, I might, but odds are I won't because uh, it's not that big a deal. Beautiful. So this is going to greatly increase the airflow. Uh, this grill is a lot more open than the old one, too. The old one wasn't uh, as far open, and I never got around to spreading those open more. All right, let me clean it up. Now, before I put the uh, cover on, I wanted to emphasize that is not the uh, obviously the best way to cut sheetrock, uh, especially if you're trying to keep a low dust count down. That was a little high, but uh, I also wanted to show you how much dust that uh, sheetrock puts out. I mean, look at the filter. It is packed up with crap off of that, so another good reason to wear the mask. But uh, I see that a lot. You know, new home construction, you get a call out for the air conditioner. They've been, uh, the worst is uh, granite tops. There's sand and granite tops and you go out and, uh, there we go. You go out to the, to uh, fix the air conditioner and you look at it and the, the filter literally weighs five pounds from all the granite in there. But you'll see that with sheetrock construction and other stuff, something to watch for. But anyway, I thought uh, you might enjoy that. All right, we'll put the top on it, and then I will do some some serious mass editing to trim this down and speeding a lot of the cutting up to uh, fun speeds. And uh, we'll do a quick shot when it's done here. Okay, so drill them out first. <laughs> Pilot holes, boys and girls, that sucks ass. Okay, I had the whole little back window on the whole time. Anyway, we're done. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me cut the lights. Okay, so that looks good normally with all the lights off. And with the normal light on, it's uh, nice and dark and you really can't see other, anything other than the, the sides there, and I could get in there and, and paint those white and it'd be beautiful. Other than the, you kind of see the cord up in there, might be able to pull that down and the thermostat wires and, and uh, put it in position. Okay, so beautiful. Yay! It is done. It's uh, pretty well centered up between the top and the bottom. You can see at the top, it pans out there and there on the little strip boards, and they're tighter at the bottom. So it's, uh, I centered up fairly well, I guess. And nobody will notice, it's a little off except me. You notice the, the uh, frame for the, <laughs> for the unit's a little off, but uh, very good. All right, so next project, boys and girls, is uh, I will now work on getting the sizable filter put together and we'll get that video out uh, as soon as we can. I'm gonna go outside in the breeze and try and cool off this, this uh, <laughs> 70 something degrees in here. I'm sweating like this, crazy. Thanks for watching and uh, appreciate it and hope you enjoyed it. Come on! Fucker. It's always something, isn't it? I should have tapped him to begin with. Still screwing around. Oh, I'll be like that? Come on! Go in there, you little fucker! Oh, I give up.
Really? I drilled, did not, maybe I didn't. 